I know Kim C. What's up? I started the mixtape actually like long, long ago, probably like 2017, getting cover art and doing videos and that th those things, you know, they cost money and they take time and making the music is the easy part. It's everything that comes after that's difficult. And it really, I didn't want to put this, that kind of like emotional stuff and negative stuff into my first album. So I decided to just work on both projects simultaneously. Uh, what, what, what's, why? I'm going to go with Another Life because that's a song where I had the beat for a while and I thought I can do something with this. It wasn't really what I was aiming to do for the video and I was planning, I was looking into reshooting it. Like I wanted to have the whole thing musically done, the hard copies in my hand, the video is ready to release, like everything before I go ahead with it. I'll, I'll just say catharsis out now at the end and that way it'll be like okay as long as you post this after I've released it it still counts <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, brother. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, welcome. Thanks for coming. Um, Thanks just, for coming. Um, just for a quick maybe introduction. Tell uh, tell the viewers who may not know you yet uh, your your name. Introduce yourself. Anomic MC. What's up? Yeah, once again, thanks for coming. The last time uh, we did an interview was just over a year ago in Braidwood, like in April 2021. It's been that long. Yeah, that's that's been about, yeah, oh, 15 months. So, um, now please tell me what's up. I know you've um, been making uh, some tunes and um, you... I've uh, put together a, a mixtape yep. and um, uh, it was sort of already ready kind of uh, as musically uh, a while ago, but now you're about to release it formally. So tell me, let's start with that. What have you been up to in that since then the, with the you know mixtape and all that? Uh? Well, I started the mixtape actually like long long ago probably like 2017 to be honest and some of the songs are old ones that i just never actually recorded that i decided to record for this project um yeah musically it's been done for a long time it's just been a process of getting cover art and doing videos and that th those things you know they cost money and they take time and it's largely largely out of my hands you know once i actually you know have done it i kind of have to find the right person and all that it's very difficult to get all these things done it's probably the harder part making the music is the easy part it's everything that comes after that's difficult i don't know for me it's totally opposite uh, i should say i guess uh well um what's the name of the ep um when is it gonna be well let's start with the name yeah catharsis what does it mean um, it's actually on the back. <laughs> well, let, let's have a look. Here's the <laughs> here's the, um, the mixtape. Yep. Uh, so it's the mixtape, right? Not not the EP. Mixtape. Mixtape. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what does it mean? The process of releasing and thereby providing relief from strong or repressed emotions. Quote: Music is a means of catharsis for them. And I feel like it really uh, it really suited the project. It wasn't the the working title but i think it's i think it's very good for the actual purpose behind the project so how many how many trucks are, are on it uh 17 17 tracks uh so um what what, what inspired you to make it how did it uh, you said the the concept uh started a while ago so what inspired you to make this and well, it's a long story. So I released my first project in 2016-ish. And after that, I was pretty determined to go from a mixtape to starting to make an album. Um, I, had, I ended up getting into a relationship not long after. And after about a year or so, it didn't work out. And it was very, very difficult for me emotionally because I had that as well as a bunch of other stuff happening in my life. You know, family stuff, work stuff, all the, all the bad things. And then... 
because I, I did a, a little short EP about my previous relationship, which is just, you know, a free thing up on my band camp. I don't promote it. I don't play any of the songs anymore. Didn't bother with videos or I made the cover art on paint. But I was still feeling, after that, I was still feeling like a lot of the same kind of like negative things. And I didn't want to keep, I didn't want to like make more songs about it. I felt like that was done, but that didn't address the other stuff that was happening. So I kind of, like I'd already kind of started the album. I had like a couple of beats, a couple of songs half written. And it really, I didn't want to put this, that kind of like emotional stuff and negative stuff into my first album. So I decided to just work on both projects simultaneously with anything that was emotional, like, you know, the kind of songs where you're feeling bad and it's just pouring out of you, so you just write it. That's a lot easier to do on, like, a jacked beat, or you can... It's a lot easier to search what kind of beat you want to use rather than go through folders and folders of beats from any number of producers. So I put them all onto there because basically just to keep the album as positive as possible. And I also threw in a bunch of, not threw in, but it also had songs that I felt like, like I didn't mind them. But I didn't want to put them on the album because they didn't have like a purpose or any kind of, they weren't, they didn't make the cut basically. So I, the way I kind of structured it is I feel like the mixtape is, the process of getting over said ne negative emotions and if you actually follow the track list towards the end it does get to a point of like very low and then a kind of a getting over point and then that's going to lead directly into the album so yeah it's the catharsis before the album that's cool i've um i've listened to it i gotta say i can the rapping is very clear in this um mixtape i couldn't understand everything like especially when you rap your raps are very clear it's easy to understand. some sometimes it's difficult for me to understand but in your case yeah very clear and uh, the beats are awesome it's more like kind of sort of old school hip-hop right uh, that's, that's the kind of stuff i like well i'm trying to branch into more stuff you know so um over so there are 17 tracks over the course of how many years when was the last the most recent track uh, recorded on this album on this uh, mixtape uh rough <laughs> maybe 2020 i don't know i have to go back through all my old invoices but maybe 2020 so from about 2016 2017 to 2020 and uh so how many artists uh other artists are featuring on on this uh, release oh, i got a few i have a song that's it wasn't a song made for this project it was just chucked on it was dumb that that's the title the song's not dumb that that's a song that i did with uh scarecrow and mn capo like way back and we were like yeah let's chuck it on just because it's a good song i like it but for the actual additional features there's not a lot um there's a, a, a sort of a posse track, which has got um, King Crusader, Gunsmith, Scots, and Young Kennedy on it. And then I have another track, which features King Crusader and Psyche. I think that was one of my favorites. What, what, the one, I can remember the one that had several artists on it. Uh, yeah, it was a cool beat, a cool track. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one. I uh, can't, can't remember um, now. So you've got it on uh, actually on CDs, yeah. huh? What the hell, man? Uh, like, uh, do you think uh, what what what's why? I don't know. Like when I first came onto the scene, a lot of dudes who were pretty active at the time they had all their EPs and albums on CD. And I kind of like the idea of being able to like hold a physical copy of like, this is what I've done. This is my music. It seems it's not cheapened, but it seems less significant if I'm just like, yeah, I have a file and I've uploaded it. I don't, I know they're not going to like, it's, it's pretty much a dying platform at this point who really buys CDs, but I don't know. I feel like they're, they're a good thing to, to have. It's sentimental. I love it for sure. Um, there are a few um, 
Russian groups that are like they always release their on on CDs even now even today. So I think you're definitely right. I agree with you that it is actually sentimental. You have something to hold. You can, you know, you can you can touch it. Uh, Con context is the last album that he did with Figure Eight. They they made vinyls, and the one he did before that, I'm pretty sure he made cassette tapes for it. And I'm like, man, like, where do you even get cassette tapes made? But it's cool. Like I don't, I'm not gonna buy one. I don't have anywhere to play it, but it's cool. <laughs> well, I gotta say, when you when you gave me uh, this CD, I also had difficulty uh, finding where to play it because my new computer doesn't have a CD-ROM anymore. So <laughs> I'm like, well, that's kind of what's tricky. Yeah, I have I have a couple copies of this in my girlfriend's car because that has a CD player, but my car doesn't, so I don't. So. Um, who who was making beats uh, um, for this uh, release, or is it sort of the mixtape? As I understand, is like you you take someone else's beats already made. Yeah, it's kind of got that just you know YouTube beats, jacked beats kind of thing going. A couple of them, um, one of them, one of the beats is a Jimmy Pike beat, and one of them I actually chopped up from a song. And a couple of the beats are, f are produced by a dude called Mickey Juice. I did actually buy the beats so I can put a couple of singles onto streaming platforms and whatnot. But for the most part, yeah, it's just jacked beats. Do you have a favorite track on this release? Ooh. Hmm. That's a good question. It'd be a toss-up. I really like Easier because that's probably the song that actually sparked the the actual creation of this mixtape because that's the one that I actually chopped the beat up for, which is why it might be out of time. I don't know. I don't care. And that has a lot of significance to me. I spent a lot of time trying to write it. Um, Eulogy is the one that means a lot to me. I keep looking at it as if I don't know my own songs. <laughs> Eulogy has a lot of significance to me because it's a song that I made about my, my pop who died a few years ago. And I put it out long before the mixtape it was ever out, but yeah. And then Another Life is probably... I'm going to go with Another Life because that's a song where I had the beat for a while and I thought I can do something with this. But I never actually sat down to do it. But on the day that I did, I pretty much wrote the whole song in like half... It's only a short song, it's like a couple of minutes, but... I wrote the song in like half an hour tops and then went in and smashed it out and it came together really well. Gojo did a fantastic job when he mixed it. That's, um, well, that's cool, man. Um, I really like the design. Who did, who did the cover design for this one? Toddy. You know Toddy? I don't think so. You know Matt Toddy? Oh, legend. He's up in Sydney at the moment, I think. I don't know what anyone's doing anymore. But yeah, he's a really cool dude. If you ask ask around about him, he makes good music. I'll send you some links. Awesome, yeah, it looks it looks sick. Um so uh we're gonna release this interview probably on the date when it comes out. So when 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 is the date and where can people find it? Um the date is whatever day they're watching this, I guess. <laughs> Um, so is there like, is, do you, have you set a particular date? No. Nah. <laughs> I'm so bad with these things. I, I'll just do it. I'll probably just do it spontaneously. Like I'll come home and be like, yeah, fuck it. Today's the day. Upload. There it is. Well, uh, give me, um, if you want to have the interview released on the same day, give me a couple of, uh, <laughs> like a, a couple of weeks, uh, at least I'll make, uh, well, a, a week. I'll, I'll get onto it and we'll, we'll have it ready, right? Um, for hopefully, um, for your release. Um, I'll, I'll just say catharsis out now at the end and that way it'll be like, okay, as long as you post this after I've released it, it still counts. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, well, um, well, man. Um, uh, so where where can people find? We'll be able to find it. Um, it'll. It's not going to be on any streaming platforms, obviously, because I don't own the rights to them, except for the singles. Um, I'll put it on my Bandcamp, anomicmusic82.bandcamp.com, I believe. I wrote it down somewhere. Well. 
We'll post the link to the band camp. Yeah. We'll post the link to the band camp in the comments, guys. Yeah, very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so where else can people find your music? I pretty much just upload to Bandcamp because I feel I feel like it's a really good, um, really good website for like a whole project. Because SoundCloud, like I have a SoundCloud that I can't remember off the top of my head, but it'll be in the description <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, but I I feel like SoundCloud is more for just dropping singles. I use it for that, and YouTube is for videos, and Bandcamp is for full projects. So now that this project is completed, um, you said you were working on the album. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, how many tra tracks are you thinking about uh, having on the album, and roughly w um, when it might we might hear it? Um, so the album is called Legacy. It's actually already musically finished as well. I'm I'm just in the it's it's the little things after that that always take up the most time I reckon. Um, Legacy is kind of I want it to be like a really good first album. Where I wanted the songs to be kind of representative of me in like a timeless kind of way. Like it's not as topical as talking about a certain phase in my life when you know things were particularly good or particularly bad or whatever. They're kind of just more general ideas that I want to have. That I feel like permeate throughout my life, and I think it's it's come together pretty well. And uh, roughly when we might be able to hear it? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm in the video stage for that one, so that's going to take up a bit of time. And then, so when you say video stage, you said you were talking about videos uh, for this release. What sort of videos are we talking about? Like, like music videos. Oh, the actual music videos. So, uh, how, uh, well, let's talk. How many music videos have you made for this uh, release? Just going to refer to my notes. So we have a video for All For Nothing Part 2, which I released maybe two weeks ago, actually. Uh, there's a video for Whiskey Bar that I actually shot long ago. Like, I don't even have a beard in the video. And I just sat on it because it wasn't really what I was aiming to do for the video. And I was planning, I was looking into reshooting it, but by the time I got to that point, I was like, yeah, the song's a bit old. I might as well invest the time and energy and money into a newer song. So that one's out there. Dumb has a video. It's on Scarecrow's YouTube channel, I believe. And I got a video for the song Pawns. It's not out yet, though. I have a video for... We have a video for Infinite. It's just not not edited as of this point but we're getting there and then there's a video for another life oh that's that's awesome man i didn't it wasn't even aware i'll uh, check them out so where are these videos do you have a a youtube channel yeah it'll be in the description and all the videos or the, the ones that have been released are there now yeah well pawns and another life haven't been released yet but they're ready to go I'm a real ducks in the row kind of guy. Like I wanted to have the whole thing musically done, the hard copies in my hand, the videos ready to release, like everything before I go ahead with it. Uh, fair enough. Well, it sounds like you've got everything uh, worked out and planned. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, looking forward to the official release. Um, I've already listened to it on the CD, and uh, it's pretty cool. So, can people? Where can people buy a CD if they if they want? Uh, have they seen me in public, and I happen to have one? I'll, I'll try to keep them in, in my car and stuff. Um, I'll probably take them to gigs if I do gigs, and maybe hit me up directly, and I might swing past your house and deliver one. Cool. All right, guys. Well, you know it now, and. Uh, I wish you um, the best for your upcoming album. I hope you get all your ducks Absolutely lined right. up in a row. Yeah, and um, I look forward to listening to it um, as soon as I can. Uh, all the best to you, right? Um, any any last words? Anything else you'd like to add? Um, shout out to everybody who participated on this. Everyone who featured, Toddy. Uh, K answer for the recording and the mixing, always doing a good job. Everyone who listens, 
everyone who gives me money for the CDs. Yeah, uh, thanks guys. Uh, well, thank you too, and thanks everyone who was involved in this release. I really, I really, really like it. Um, very cool. Here you go, guys. Uh, hit him up for for it. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>